Restore is an acronym. Uh, it means restoring emotional stability uh, through outstanding reconstructive effort. Uh, it was founded in 2008 when I was a fellow at Harvard. And since 2008, we've, we've been to over six countries. We've restored over 250 patients. And all this has been done because of people like you and I. Uh, we live in a very cruel world, especially in developing countries. When people have deformities, they are ridiculed, they are laughed at, they are attacked. And we're here tonight to raise money, to raise awareness, so that we can touch more soul and restore more lives. Now, how can we follow the trail? You know, we're on Facebook. Uh, our website is restoreworldwide.org, restoreworldwide.org. Or you can go on my personal website, mikoplasticsurgery.com. There's a link, and you can uh, join in cash or in kind. You know, we are always looking for healthcare professionals. You don't even have to be a healthcare professional to be a part of this. You know, we have a volunteer who's been on two trips. She just go to the villages and bring the kids so we can help them. So anybody is, you know, anybody, everybody's welcome uh, to join this great cause. Thank you so much for stopping by. Kalita Hodges just joined us on the red carpet. Kalita, thank you so much for stopping by. It's a great night to see you tonight. How excited are you to be here? I'm so excited about this um, fundraiser and for such a great cause. Yeah, of course. So speaking about fundraisers and giving back, how important is it to give back to the community and show community that we're out here making a change and difference in people's lives? First and foremost, it's rare. And it's an amazing, amazing thing that this doctor does for the people. And to give back for such a great charity, I mean, it's amazing. Especially for people from domestic violence and people that have been hurt, that he's able to uh, change their lives. So tell us a little bit about what you have going on. What can we see as fans upcoming from Kalita Hodges? Well, uh, first of all, I'm an ex-basketball wife, and I do have a book out called Carly This Way, Out of the Dark, Into the Light. And I'm also the founder of a new foundation called the Purple Bottom Foundation, and we'll be giving a champagne brunch April 23rd in Beverly Hills. So I'm very excited about that. And that's all about giving back as well. How can we get more information about you? Are you on Facebook, Twitter? Do you have a website? Yes, I do. www.carlita-hodges.com. And I'm on Facebook as Carlita Hodges, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, all under my name, Carlita Hodges. That's C-A-R-L-I-T-A-H-O-D-G-E-S. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you as well. Fab, just hit the red carpet. Fab, man, it's a great night to see you, man. You're looking sharp. I see you got your swag on. Tell us a little bit what you got going on. Well, I've been living in Europe right now. I've been living in Amsterdam and going back and forth, working on a lot of music. I'm, I'm doing a lot with electronic music, and I'm working on a project called Face Me's Voice. I used to be the face of Movin' Italy, and I'm working with a guy who used to do my voice. So it's Face Me's Voice. We've been in the studio working on a collection of songs. We're talking to labels, and um, we got some good stuff coming for you. But in the meantime, I'm collaborating with DJ producers and doing one-offs and collabs. So this year, you can expect a lot of good stuff. Man, speaking of music, music's forever changing, man. How do you stay current, and how do you find the wave or the next wave to go to? Well, I'll tell you the truth. You know, I when I went back to Europe, it was to go back to my European roots and experiments. I didn't want to fit into a format. I was like, yo, just try different things. And on my journey, my musical journey... In all these different styles, I was able to keep a little something from everywhere, you know, learn something and reinvent myself. And that's the number one rule as an artist. You should always try to evolve and change and never be stagnant. Otherwise, you're repeating yourself. How can your fans stay current with you uh, as far as like Facebook, Twitter, or social media platforms? Are you guys on that social media platforms? And of course, man. It's the new world we live in. So it's like... Twitter, Fab More Van, Instagram, Fab More Van, Facebook, official page, Fab More Van. You can get me out there. Do you think it's easier with all these social media platforms to get your music out there? And do you think a studio or, say, a mu uh, music publishing is necessary instead of just going the indie route, instead of going through a record label? Well, there's so many routes today. You know, there's no rules. Now, it's, it's a wild, wild west. You can be on YouTube with your guitar and sing a cappella and have a label just like, yo, this is someone that we really want to get. Or, you know, you tour with a band and you work the city and you do the circuit a couple of times, then you get more fans. Then you got, you know, social media where you have like Snapchats and you can build up and build up and build up. So there are no rules. As long as whatever you do, you do it well, you come from the heart and you keep evolving and bettering yourself. That's number one. Pat, thank you so much for your words of wisdom. Look forward to seeing some of your music. Pleasure.
Thank you so much for gracing us with the red carpet, man. Thank I you. love what you have going on. Thank Tell us a little bit about your style. Well, my style is pretty eclectic. I just invent it as I go. You know, I'm a, I'm a pop artist, not like Miley Cyrus, but like Andy Warhol. I do artwork, so I like to be creative with my look, and I don't really, uh, you know, I, I just come up with it on my own. I don't really, like, look to fashion magazines. I don't look to celebrities. I just do my own thing. And that's the way it should be. I think that's very important, especially a generation that's like to follow trends. If you're be a trendsetter, a lot of people will follow you, and especially you being a leader as yourself. Tell us a little bit about what you have going on. I heard somebody mention Kay Michelle somewhere earlier. The best damn show on television. Hello. You can watch every Monday at 930 on VH1. I appeared on this season, season two. I uh, Kay came to one of my art shows. I gifted her with some artwork. And... I love her because she's talented. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's all these reality shows and people on TV, but what the hell do they do? She's a singer, and she's got an amazing voice. She's just, she's an amazing person, you know? And she changed my life by having me on the show. Straight up. So I love you, Kay Michelle, and I love VH1. So tell us about other upcoming projects that you have going on or hidden secrets. Okay, I taped something for E! Entertainment, but I can't say right now what it is, but it's coming out uh, in June. I should be on there, and... So just keep watching that and keep watching K. Michelle while it's airing. And I have art shows coming up. I have all kinds of things. So you just got to get on the Google, look up Sham Abraham, and you're going to see everything over there. Sham, do you are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that? Yes, I do. I have Twitter is Sham Pop Art. My Instagram is Sham Ibrahim, S-H-A-M-I-B-R-A-H-I-M number one. Um, sorry, my name's so complicated. Okay. Uh, what else? Um Facebook, just look me up on Google, Sham Ibrahim, and go on my website, shampop.com, order yourself some artwork. Sham, thank you so much. Have a great night. Pleasure. Thank you.